Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am here with the 5th episode of Memory in the Letter. Songs are now in the Aksum room. But he was surprised to see room which is look like a store room. Here he met Miss Sook and got to know that he is in Buddhist era in the year 1995, even before Aksum was born. He then roamed around the city. Here he met some bad people who tried to rope him, but he hit those guys and ran away. He was still thinking about Aksum and sleep in the street. Next day he met a girl whose name is Likit. She felt bad for Songjam when she got to know that he had nowhere to go. She then take him with her. At home her husband Pulup, who actually is Aksum's father, which means Likit is also Aksum's mother. He was upset to see her wife bringing a stranger home, but she convinced him to let him stay with them. Then Palop let him but he asked him to pay rent. Songjam then gave him a gold coin as a rent. From that day Songjam stayed with them and became very close with them. He even joined the medical school as both Likit and Palop helped him. And one day he helped Likit to write a novel which is about Songjam and Aksum as he told her about his real story. But Likit had no idea that it is Songjam and her son's story. Hyo Songjam changed his original name with Kyo with Likit's suggestion and it's clear that Kyo who is Aksum senior always helped him is actually Songjam from other world. Time skip after 5 years he became a doctor and one day Likit got into an accident and she is also pregnant that time. Here he could not able to save her but he was able to save her baby. Polov then named that boy Aksum. So that's why Kyo always around Aksum as he finally knew that the child just born is actually his Aksum. So time skip here, everything repeat and Kyo was waiting for that time when he is going to meet Aksum. Meanwhile Aksum was crying as he thought he will never able to meet Songjam when he saw the broken mirror. And at the same time someone knocked on the door and he was surprised when he saw Kyo in front of him who call him P. Aksum, like Somjang used to call him. So that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching my video.